Convent, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Am I Tripping or Not Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So shit, I don't really don't know why I'm here. I was just pulled to do a reading. I don't know, shit. Usually I don't, I mean, every now and then I'll drop one on Wednesday, but uh, I don't know, shit. So I guess we'll just do a collective check-in. Anyway, I do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with, oh, speaking of that, I finally got them, y'all. Uh, even though this is the same deck I've been using, but they finally came, G. So next week there will be a link uh, in the bio for purchase for my cards. I have them. Uh, so we're going to get the shit cracking. But just an update on that shit. So definitely by next week, y'all, because uh, I have them in my fucking possession. It's popping, G. Anyway, I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. <laughs> Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it to get dirt. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your sign nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests, where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit. Mark, get the fuck on. Watch your hand on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in two months. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right. So uh, I don't have the flash. I mean, I do have them, but I'm not using them this evening, the flash cards. We're going to use some tarot uh, and, and just see what the fuck goes on, man. Okay. Give me some collective messages for the convent, I guess. Shit. Why we here? I, why we here? Tuh. Shit, y'all bored? Is that why y'all call me here? Because there ain't shit else to do and watch? Ain't that a bitch? Uh, that's what that say? Uh, someone is bored, Convent. You could be bored at this time. Someone you kicking it with could be boring. I'm, that's been coming up a lot in the collective readings that just, I mean, motherfuckers just boring and shit, you know? What's new, pussycat? Like, nothing. Basically, it's what that energy is. Give me another one. Nine of Swords, yeah, this is uh, kind of like anxiety, sleepless nights, worried about some shit. Uh, I don't know, Convent, this kind of feels like someone watching you as well. Someone has anxiety watching you, I heard. Or when they see you, they get anxiety or something like that, or you do. Uh, it's almost like uh, they're making me feel like somebody, uh, it's like watching something like wither away. It's how they're making me feel, Convent. So I don't know what you done did to these folk. I don't know why you done brought me here, old motherfucking Dark 30, to talk about this man, this woman, or something. But this somebody who, uh, shit, got, is they got, shit, I got problems. Ain't nobody calling back. Now what the fuck is happening with my ball and cats? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody may have got left. Or, I don't know. Give me another one. I probably ain't gonna call out signs, G. Full card. Yeah. Uh, I'm picking up someone kind of feels like a, a tar convent. Uh, I don't know why we're talking about this fool really feels like one. Like somebody, because the nine of swords is like, it says cruelty. But this is like some anxiety. Like I said, somebody worried about something. I feel like somebody did something foolish. And I don't know, maybe they're waiting to see how you react to the shit. What's happened since whatever the fuck this is that they, I'm going to ask what they, what they do. What they do. What the fool do? Put one on the fool real quick. Oh, uh, five of wands, some fuck, some fuck shit, basically. Uh, that's what this is. They call some problems. I got problems. Ain't nobody calling back. I told you. Now what the fuck is happening with my ball and cats is what I heard. Somebody man tried to fuck up your money. Or convent, uh, somebody, oh, I'm being told for some of you, I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but for some of you, uh, somebody, uh, was like involved in a group or something that tried to do something uh, towards you. And I feel like the group may have abandoned this person. And this person is left holding like the gun, the knife, the whatever, the snake, the rat, the cat, the dog. Uh, somebody's left holding the uh, stupid award, basically. That's this fool here. Uh, that's why he said, now what the fuck is happening with my ball and cats? They like that. Like we don't have no clue. Somebody's getting uh, all the blame put on them, Convent, is what I'm hearing. It's what you hearing. Yeah, it's what you hearing. 
somebody, uh, some tar tries to call or try to call strife or something. This fool, I mean, usually this will be taking a leap, but this fool really feel like tar like G with the five of wands, especially with the nine of swords and the four of cups. Somebody did some stupid ass shit or you did and they feel dumb, period. Yeah, love and lust, damn. Yep, that's why. She give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one that'll run me. Another world premiere. This person, man, thought you was going to be sad, disappointed. But I feel like something uh, reversed, Convent. Whatever someone was doing to try to get, like, a reaction out of you, make you see something. Hell yeah. Got the seven of cups with the devil. He's not welcome here. Who this in my house, right? This type shit. Somebody tried to uh, make you feel, make you feel some type of way with they. I don't know what's wrong with them. Maybe they on that stuff. I don't know. But this is some illusion. Somebody wanted you to fall for or something like that, and you didn't, G. Uh, and this person is just. They keep playing when my heart is damaged. I don't know. I never liked that song. I thought that I should let you. Is that them puffy girls? Uh. Danity Kane, yeah, somebody heart damaged. That ain't the one I like. I like we in the car, we ride slow, we doing things that the girls don't do. The boys stare, we smile back. All my girls in the rainbow Cadillacs, yeah, that's the one I like. But somebody heart damaged, G. Back to the story, though. Give me another one. Let's keep going. Yeah, somebody's worried that they fuck shit didn't work or they didn't ruff. I heard they didn't ruffle your feathers. Maybe uh, you did. I feel like somebody wanted you to see something online, G, or find something out, right? And they were like, yeah, this is it. This is when they fucking bust a whole nutty. And you went <laughs> on they ass and shit. You didn't give a fuck, G. What is this? Let's keep going. This could be job, family, lover. Somebody tries to call, wanted a reaction out of you or wanted you to feel some type of way. And I feel like they need to try harder, G. Try harder, motherfucker. Uh, talk is cheap, motherfucker. I don't know, something's up with DMX. I mean, I know he's not here, but yeah, something on the other side, though. I don't know what he's doing. But that's what I heard. Talk is cheap. Give me another one. Uh, Eight of Wands. Uh, it flew on the floor. I'm going to put it back. Yeah, somebody wants you to see something online, a message they sent you. Someone did something they wanted you to, like, freak out and shit when you saw it. Like, oh, my goodness. And I feel like you was like, for real? What? Damn. That's crazy. Those are all my answers to some shit I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> real shit. That's basically what you did. Convince, some of you guys may be having sleepless nights. Uh, I feel like it's because you didn't really do anything throughout the day, they said. Okay, that's for somebody. I don't feel like all y'all don't not do shit. But I feel like for somebody who's not getting any sleep, there's something that you're not doing. Like, uh, you're not productive, they said. Enough. Okay. Can we can get past this here. Let's go. I am a Malcolm X. I am a Malcolm X. This is my Malcolm X card. This is the Hierophant. This is the God card. Uh, is what that is. Uh, Convent, don't be surprised if God show you some fool. God was like, I see. What did he say? Uh, God blesses fools. That's what it says here. So whoever this person is, uh, I don't feel like there is. I mean, shit. I said they was tarred, like, but it's telling me that like they really, they're not foolish as far as they did not know better. Whatever they were doing towards you or wanted to do towards you, it was intentional. They had their sights set on your ass, but God had their sights set on them. Uh, I feel like God is pointing at this person, whoever this is, like they were gonna fail as soon as they tried to execute something or something like that. I do see somebody arguing. I do see some masculine energy that feel like a fool here because he got back in some commitment with some lady because that's on her side. Uh, she fighting like a motherfucker for this shit, ain't she? He feel kind of dumb for going back to this shit or something. Some man is also or some woman is bored in some relationship and they have sleepless nights and anxiety because of that. Okay. Somebody's job is trying to, or this is some person, but I feel some people trying to put people in competition with each other here. It's either a job, somebody in a, it's like somebody in a relationship wants you to fight over another, fight with a motherfucker over them. It's some tarred shit, I'm telling you, and I feel like you did not, uh, 
Yeah, and I don't give a fuck. What was that on? And I don't give a fuck. What was that on? Something with Snoop Dogg, they saying. They started playing that part. Like a washing machine, I can wash the clothes. All the hoes know. But they can't hang with my type of, yeah. I ain't trying to say I suck every dang lang She was nasty. Uh... Yeah, it was bitches ain't shit. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, spirit guys, because I'm like, what are we, why you got me rapping this? Uh, yeah, bitches ain't shit. So I don't know. Maybe he was some it, <laughs> ain't shit ass bitch. Some man is with a it shit ain't ass bitch is what I'm picking up on. Uh, or some woman with some ain't shit ass dude, but it really feel like an ain't shit because the bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks song is what's playing. And you don't give a fuck is what that part has saying in the hook or the bridge or whatever the fuck part it was in the song. You don't care. Uh, and I feel like uh, somebody wanted you to convent real shit or a job. Like I said, some group of people, some organization or whatever wanted you to like fight to prove some shit like you was down or something. I don't know. G. like jump, jump for us. You're like, what the why would I to end up looking like this baby? No, thank you. Uh, I feel like someone, I don't know, G. Someone's not as bright as you, G. I'm gonna keep it so real. Someone's not as smart as you, uh, convent. I mean, that's basically what the fuck this has said. There's some fool out there that really thinks they're gonna get over on the most high. So this lets me know you protected or there's some purpose, will, God's will for you or whatever. Like you're already... Your steps have been ordered, right? You've already been directed by him. There's somebody that uh, is a fool to go up against you or him or however this goes. Uh, I'm telling you, man, this person think like a human. <laughs> Basically, I mean, all the time, though. You know what I mean? I'm only human. Yeah, this little mo. Uh, I don't know. You people had enough? No, give me some mo. I don't know. This little mo or big mo. Something with somebody's name named mo. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody wanted you to be a captain, save them too. What's the name of that song? Super Baby, they can't play you Cause I'll save you with my super powers Right, maybe somebody wants you to believe that You're like, I don't, I'm not moved uh, Whatever this is, but I feel like they're only human uh, is what they're making me feel like, like it's a, a human thought, you know what I mean? And as you being in this divine energy, this kind of divine masculine, divine feminine energy, I mean, you in human skin, but I don't feel like you really think like humans do. This person, uh, I guess wants you to be human. I don't know. It's something like that though. Something like that. Somebody damn sure jumped into a job, a relationship too quick, and that shit's fighting they ass back, G. It really is. Some people are uh, have anxi anxiety, worry, sleepless nights because they went against the most high. Something they did that they were ordered not to do, or they're not doing something that they have been ordered to do. Some of y'all up because of that. Like uh, Restless, they said. I don't know why they keep playing that fucking Damage song. I never liked that shit, G. Stop playing that shit. <laughs> Stop shooting that little shit. Stop shooting that little shit. I don't know. Something about Danity came and my heart is damaged. I thought that I should let you know. It's what they keep saying, y'all. I don't know. Didn't they sing that? I like to use my lifeline because I damn sure ain't about to fucking play it, post it, or none of that. Okay. They said, st <laughs> oh, y'all cold. They said that, uh, <laughs> They said they, uh, this person may have wanted you to walk across the bridge to go get some cheesecake like you was making the band and shit. I don't know. Uh, Convin, somebody wants you to crawl. Crawl, baby. Crawl, baby. I don't know. What the fuck they talking about? Does this resonate? Because, shit, I've been asleep literally all day. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I went to Tarjay, right? Went to go get me some Peruvian hair, some gas. No, none of this is, I mean, maybe, shit, let me shut the fuck up before I bring this shit on. But let me know if this resonates in the comments, because, huh? Let's keep going. Somebody is either bored without you uh, or with your ass, Convent, or you are the bored one uh, in some relationship, job, something like that. But I feel like uh, 
<clears throat> they're giving me like gladiator energy. Like, are you not entertained? And you're like, not fucking really. No, I'm not. And so I'm, I don't know what the fuck is going on, G. Remember when uh, Russell Crowe didn't want to fight and shit and they like made him and shit. And he just started cutting heads off and killing tigers and all kind of shit. It's like, motherfucker, that is action, okay? This shit, whatever these people are doing, this is not, this is, you're not entertaining, G. You just, I'm, you're not. Let's keep going. Uh, this what y'all got me uh, on here for? Confident for real? Okay. A human? Okay. <laughs> One on the four cups. Ooh. Uh oh, the Isley brothers. This what's that? Footsteps. I keep hearing footsteps in the dark. And Outcast came out too with the Isley brothers. Yeah, somebody's been ostracized out of group. I told you, maybe it was a group. Uh, uh, co-workers, friends, family, or something, but somebody's an outcast from the Isley Brothers, G. So somebody, uh, if that makes any sense, it's like, are you bored? That's probably more so what it is. Somebody is in some shit, I'm telling you, they joined something, some type of holy matrimony, family, job, group, something. They, they committed to something, and they still feel like an outcast in that bitch. I know that feeling. We all know that. That's why we here. I shit. Kelly's telling me that you're sleeping with another woman or whatever that shit is. <laughs> Ain't that what he said? Just because she sees me with her doesn't mean I'm sleeping with her. Yeah, it's like some uh, drama or some shit. Well, if you're not sleeping with her, what the hell are you doing with her? Well, I could be just talking to her. Shit, or you could just be creeping with her. What the fuck? This, <laughs> this sounds like some back end, like you're not, whatever this is, Convent, I feel like this is you watching. <laughs> I'm so sorry to be laughing whoever's going through this, but I feel like, I don't feel like this you. I feel like you just happen up on this shit, right? However it comes, this message, or whatever this drama is. I feel like and you're watching this go on. Someone may have tried to like throw something in your face or someone and shit and they miserable in this shit. And it's like it's backfiring on them. And these people may be arguing and shit like the same people that was trying to they done turned on each other. G basically. Oh, my gosh. You're contagious. Yeah, somebody might have caught something, too. Give me what you've got. Yeah. Somebody may have got an STD or something, a spiritually transmitted disease from somebody. Now, they, I told you somebody, the black sheep, told you. Uh, this say so fresh and so clean on here, but I don't know. Look how they living. Mm -hmm. Somebody's not the same convent. Uh, this could be you or somebody else. Ever since I'm telling you they joined something, became a part of something, they are not the same, G. And not in a good way. Like, it's not great, G. Like, when you see them, you're like, damn, on some front, like, they look bad or something. <laughs> this person wants to come back to you. Voyage to Atlantis. Yeah. Oh, feminine energy. Who's that lady? Yeah. Who's that lady? Some man's looking. It's a bunch of men looking at a woman here. I feel like uh, for some of you, there is a masculine energy that's interesting in you and his friends are too, G. But he can't even play because he in holy matrimony with the fool. So his friends got like dibs or something like that. Or the, you guys could be, uh, it could be something like where uh, someone wants you convent, but they're in a relationship or some shit and you free, G. Uh, shit, I ain't uh, related to the Isleys motherfucker. Like shit, I'm an outcast. Shit, my last name Jackson, okay? Is what I had had. Damn convent. So maybe somebody wants you to feel bad for them being in a bad. It's almost like someone wants you to feel bad like they do. But you don't though. But you don't. Oh wow. I do see people fighting with family. or, or, or They're telling me to tell you don't argue with this fool. Whoever I'm talking to. If this is not family. This is somebody at your job. Coworker. They said don't argue with the fool. Yeah, I told you, it's, uh, we got humans and we got aliens. 
which side are you on, convent? I'm going to pick the alien side. If I had to choose who you were, it's almost like you arguing with a human, G. I mean, no disrespect to y'all or nothing, but... <laughs> I mean... It's people hiding in the closet and little people running out. Y'all remember that shit Kells did? Uh, it feel like a bunch of drama, some shit that's like real dumb, G. I feel like someone wanted you to react to like some rumor, uh, altercation, message, uh, something. It may have been directed towards you. And I feel like, I mean, shit, you don't care. I mean, shit. Somebody can't escape uh, some group. I don't know what that's about. Somebody got mixed up in some bullshit. Blood in, blood out. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody took a, a oath. Uh, yeah, it's like either a marriage or somebody joined a, uh, the crew, the hood. Uh, something like that. You can't just walk off like that. It's only two ways out. Oh, shit. I don't know. Moving on. You gotta, yeah, let me shut up. One of the nine of swords, the matrix tried to come out. Yeah, I knew it was a, a human. It's human thinking, okay? And I say we don't all have, like I, like they say, what are we, a, a soul or a spirit having a human experience? I do believe that. But I believe like once you're enlightened or awakening, you know what I mean, having that ascension, it's like you realize that though. This, whoever these people are, they don't know that. One of the nine of swords. Lauren Hill, yeah, Zion. That's what I'm saying. That's us. They are thems. Okay. Yeah. Miseducation <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Yes. Refugee. Uh yeah, man, come on. I feel like somebody wanted you to like feel like that. Uh, but they were miseducated. Someone wants you to feel like you're not a part of something, convent. And I really feel like you don't care, G. Uh, let me, I'm gonna have to ask separate. Let, hold on, sign another fucking note. Cause I got, this ain't you, it can't be. It can't. God ain't even facing none of this shit. He the last one and he looking a whole other way, okay? How's the convent feel about this malarkey? Uh, cause I feel like you know what's going on. It's just telling me you're not moved. Like, this why I don't fuck with you, brothers and sisters and shit. Uh, our people perish from a lack of knowledge. That's why I'm a motherfucking outcast. It's, that's how I think you feel. But I'm gonna ask, side note. How's the convent feel about this debacle? Ten of swords and, and uh, ten of swords. Yeah, it's there. It's like uh, spoiled goods. I heard it says ruin, but that's what I heard. Spoiled goods. So something expired in this bitch. Base base. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you want to get on the next thing smoking? Yeah, it's some page of pinnacles, prince of pinnacles. It don't even pay. Whatever it is, it don't even pay a nickel, okay? I see where you're, why you're not interested. There's nothing valuable in this shit at all. It's like you want to get on the first thing smoking out of this shit. Uh, or you wouldn't even, it's almost like, uh, yeah, this is what you're looking for. Bliss is what I heard. Nothing about this is blissful. I just had to see how you felt about the shit real quick. We'll get back to the spread, boss. But uh, I was just curious. This damn sure could be at work for sure. Uh, it's like, I ain't about to lose my, like, bitch, do you pay me? Do you sign my motherfucking checks, bitch? Are you the one that goes over my motherfucking time card? Uh, my health issue, any of that, the parking, bitch, my unit, my badge, any of that. They're like, no, I'm like, well then, bitch, that's how you feel about whatever this is. So it doesn't affect you, basically, is what they're saying. Are you upset? <laughs> Convent. Oh, Lord, protect me, okay? Because I'm, I'm right with the world right now. Put one with ten of swords and the damn uh, prince of pentacles. Because uh, somebody done pissed y'all off or they trying to. Maybe you come across this. Yeah, you you came out as Beyonce when I asked how you felt about it. Heyonce, sheyonce. Either way, convent. I feel like this is you, Beyonce. Uh, unbothered. This is like I give a fuck face. I knew it. Uh, especially somebody offering Beyonce a penny, a nickel or some shit. Come on. She ain't even moved. Uh damn okay yeah it ha does not affect your destiny uh anything like that yeah they're fucking baby all these bitches is my sons we're nikki uh yes crowned your crown chakra is lit basically yeah you already know what this is that's why look who at the bottom look who at the bottom mm, divine masculine divine feminine let's just say that's y'all right because they go together 
Uh, yeah, neither one of y'all are bothered by this, uh, bullshit here. Okay, I didn't even get to these cards on that side, but I just have to clarify you real quick. You already know what this is. Uh, they said you know they're trying to ruin Beyonce, basically. Like, you're the Beyonce, you watching. You already know that's why they have, I'm sure Beyonce got haters. I mean, we already know. Like, at least, especially in the beginning, now she fucking untouchable. It's like a bitch that hate on Beyonce, you just know, like, it's a hater uh, at this point. As far, in, even in her field, let's say people in her field, because you could really just dislike Beyonce for whatever reason. I don't fucking know and I don't fucking care. But let's just say when she first got in the game, right, and people was like, I am going to outdo fucking Beyonce, right? Uh, she was like, okay, bitch. Like, with this Prince of Pinnacle shit, I don't fucking think so. It's like, you know what this is. Yeah, living room. You're comfortable is what I had heard. Uh, like I said, it don't pay your bills. So now you, yeah, it don't pay your rent, your bills. It don't sign your checks or none of this shit. Whatever this is, comment. So you are really unbothered. When beyond, it's no doubt, G. No doubt. I heard driver roll up the partition, please. Yeah, they have no uh insight into your life. Like they can't even see what you're doing. I don't need you seeing Yance on her knees. Uh, yeah, something about somebody, uh, we don't, well, whatever, okay. Mm -mm. Somebody trying to, uh, catch you doing some shit, Convent, possibly, or you know that's what they're trying to do. Somebody trying to get some, like, explicit photos of someone or some shit like that. Put them on the web, uh, to ruin them and shit. But I feel like this shit helped this person. <laughs> I feel like it helped you, Convent. I feel like whatever somebody tries to use to ruin you, uh, it fucking helps. Like, you know, uh, it's 2021. People like crazy shit. Most people back in the day would be like, what? A stupid ass bitch gorilla glued her hair? I don't fucking want to see that shit. All us motherfuckers tuned in to watch a bitch try to get some glue out her head. That's how you know. It's almost like them days is over, G, as far as trying to destroy people. I mean, you know what I'm saying? For <sighs> with shit that they uh, gladly put out. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that bitch don't give a fuck. Uh, about what the fuck we think. I feel like that's how you feel about this. It don't affect her money at all. Uh, that bitch on TMZ making money, selling, I don't know why, hair products and all kind of shit. About to get married. Bitch came up off of just them near killing herself and shit, right? That's what this is. As far as you being the Gorilla Glue person. Uh, and not saying you would do something like that, but it's almost like all your dumb shit is out there. Like, bitch, that's why it's out already. How the fuck you think you found it? Or else I would have rolled the partition up on your ass. Whatever this is, somebody's trying to throw in your face, Convent. It's something you already are fucking aware of, comfortable with. It's something that's, uh, like, it's you. You know what I'm saying? That's like somebody saying the nun cuss and talk a bunch of shit. Duh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but try to use it against you. Like, bitch, yeah. And bitch, everybody knows that. That's what this is. It's something like that. Or someone wants you to be moved or by some shit you didn't already surpass, G. Once Beyonce came out, I could have fucking stopped, really. I know she not bothered about what a motherfucker say. She can't be, G. And neither is this one. Like, what, what? Anyway. Sister Act. What's up, nuts? Hey, high priest. Yeah. Y'all don't have to worry about shit if you in the convent for sure. Look. Boom. Put one on the fool and the five of wands. Damn, he came out anyway. Shit. Okay. On top of the five of wands and the fool. Uh, convent, you on your way to some shit. Some of y'all are retiring young is what I heard as far as uh, you can retire now if you want to. I don't know what you do. But some of y'all got some stupid ass fucking money where you can just stop doing whatever. Somebody is mad at that. Someone's mad that you can do whatever it is that you do, Convent. Or you can have whoever it is that you want. And not saying you out there just picking and choosing this shit. But uh, it's almost like uh, they could also be mad that they person won't you. Is what I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. But it's, he pouring liquor in the Grammy, G. It's almost like no one, you don't care. I don't care. 444 could be significant. Yeah, this says mogul, founder, new me, businessman, collaborations. Uh, Yeah, convent. It's, it's people mad at that shit, but they're, they're like tards, though. So I don't really feel like you have to 
This feels like other people. It does. Somebody who's in a position of power is also mad at you, convent. Okay? I don't know why. Uh, they want to compete with you. Uh, it's kind of like that Donald Trump shit. You know what I mean? How he argued with the... Uh, what was that little girl name? I don't know. She wanted to do it. It was some little girl, like 17 or 18 or whatever, but she held like a movement for all these kids and shit. Y'all remember that shit? I don't know if it was like for... Uh, like the climate or some shit like that or something she did and he was arguing with a fucking little girl and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was like this type of shit is what it's making me feel like. Like you're the fucking president. Surely you have something else to fucking do than worry about uh, JoJo and Miley Cyrus. <laughs> shit, that's what the fuck this is, G. That's what this is. Somebody, it's like you, JoJo and Miley Cyrus and it's like Donald Trump worried about what you doing, Calvin, I swear. Uh, it's like he mad or something, using him as an example and shit. But it's that type of energy where it's like, I know you have business meetings, motherfucker. Jet, something, something. Yes, dude. Somebody like of high stature is mad at you or wants to cause some conflict in your life. Uh, this per this is the person that's sitting around. Matter of fact, oh, okay, slow down then. This might be the person that's actually bored, Convent. You know when they say motherfuckers have too much money, they just, after a while, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? When you get to that point, it's my belief. I don't know, I ain't reached that status yet. But it's my belief that when you get to that status, it's time to be of service to others. When there's nothing else you can do, nobody else to fuck, no more cars to buy, no more, you've been around the world and I, yeah, yeah. All this other shit, it's like, what else is left to do but to be of service, G? Uh, someone is not taking that to heed and they're looking at you now it's like uh it's turning dark whoever the fuck this is they can't see him coming down their eyes so they had to let the song cry it's like somebody wants to make you feel bad because they feel bad or because they're unhappy or some shit this could be a ceo uh this says titles and this motherfucker got cheese whoever the tart is with the five of wands they ain't broke g whoever this is mm. Hey, they said, so I know you not broke, but I ain't fucking with you. I can't rock with you no more. Yeah, boom, boom. Especially if you coming up like this and I ain't fucking with you. It's almost like somebody met they match. It may not be in regards to money, Convent, but there's something that you possess, G, because if you want to keep it real, let's say you a Prince of Pentacles here, right? And you still don't give a fuck. Ten of Swords, it's like you're, you're uh, not saying you're a Prince of Pentacles, like you ain't got shit but compared to what they saying this person has and what beyonce has the way they're making it out now even though they together now i feel like this one this motherfucker may not like your ass too it's like they met they match but it's like on different levels but uh something that they do or have it doesn't impress you or you don't give a fuck okay <laughs> it's like someone wants to put whatever they have that's more than you or they accumulated more than you they have something more it could be money uh, bitches, dudes, views, subscribers, likes, whatever in the fuck. You are so unbothered, G. This person is like pressed on your panini, pressed, fucking hot comb, press, pressing comb, like press, G. Over this shit. What? No. Now the joy of my world is in Zion. That's why. Uh, you, your joy is not in this world. Uh, and this person may be trying to get your attention or something, but your joy is not in this world, G. It's in Zion. Like for, you know, using that metaphorically, it's like divine university, G. I don't give a fuck about this shit down here. Uh, someone's mad at you for that. It's like now they feel like an outcast, but this person has a lot to be thankful for, whoever this is, convent. So this is somebody that's like a fucking real hater, G. Like on some real shit. Wow. This person too old to be acting like that too. The life and times of Sean Carter, nigga, volume two. Volume two is like half your age or <laughs> middle age or something too old to be acting like something, G. I feel like you fighting to get to this level. You know what I'm saying? Taking leaps and bounds and shit. I feel like that's what you're trying to do. You already got enough worries and shit just to make sure life is meaningful. Uh, you take care of your kids and shit. You know what I mean? Y'all trying to get over X, the X factor and shit. Like it's all a whole lot of shit killing you softly that you ain't even, uh, that's probably why you ain't focused on this shit. 
Really? Like, bitch, I got enough problems. I said I got problems. Ain't nobody calling back. Now what the fuck is happening with my ball and cats? It's other people y'all worried about, G. Or other things. Uh, real life is what I heard. Yeah, man. Who is this convict? Yeah, somebody's man is so in love. Or woman. I, they'll give it all away. Just don't tell nobody tomorrow. Somebody want to creep with your ass, uh, convent. They in love with you, but it's like they don't want to leave this life. <laughs> okay? They want to stay here and be in love with you. Uh, I feel like this person fails to realize that this is unattractive, G. Whatever this is that they do, you're not impressed. Uh, it's almost like a, whatever they're, it's like, that's not what you're looking at. I was just telling another nun this the other day because uh, the disgusting face came out on my emotion cards, right? I should have used them to see how y'all was really feeling about this shit, but they too far away. But I was telling her, I'm like, you know how uh, us just as Libras, right? Not to call out signs, but I'm like, little things can turn us off. I saw a dude today, G, real shit. I went to the gas station. This motherfucker had all like Adidas sandals, and you know how men wear the sandals, right? But he didn't have no socks on. His toes was like full out. And it's almost like, you need to have on some white socks or some black socks. It just wasn't fitting. I don't know what it was. It was a big fucking turn off. And like, he could have been a nice guy. He was driving, it was just your fucking like, why are your toes out in this type of sandal? It's this type of sandal with your toes out. It's something like that, convent, where it's like, you could have all the shit in the world, but as soon as your toe curl over the fucking front of that fucking sandal, it's a wrap, cuz I don't want that shit. You could whine and dine a bitch. All I remember is the claw. That's all I remember. It's like this, G. This is kind of like what this is. It's something about this person that, uh, like, they may, uh, I don't know, man. Or this you. Somebody feel this way about you. But it's something like that. Like whatever someone is, uh, maybe they don't recognize this in themselves, Convent, and you see it and they're like pulling out all these stops or trying to get your attention. And you're like, do you not fucking see like you? Like, are you fucking nuts, dude? Like, no, not you. Not to be rude, but that's what the fuck I'm picking up on, G. That's why you don't care. It's almost like, have you seen them toes, bro? They weren't even bad toes. I just feel like they don't belong in them type of sandals without no sock on. You know, you're supposed to have like the tall. If you're going to wear a white sock, they got to be white, white too. So if you one of them motherfuckers, put on a black sock, right? But you know, like they not all the way like knee high socks. They could be ankle because I love many ankle socks. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. But they don't have to be ankle, right? They could just be regular ass socks, black or white. Yes, there. you already know how the fuck to get down, Divine Masculine. Don't be acting brand new. He didn't, okay? He did not. He had like a Barney Rubble ass energy, G, real shit. Not to be talking about that man. But it's something like that, Convent, where you like, it's just the whole shit is off, G. I, you could like take me around the world and all I would see is your fucking toes out this airplane window, G. Also, real shit. Like, it's something like that, okay? That's why I feel like you're like, I just, I'm unbi I just can't, G. I can't even entertain that. Somebody doesn't understand. They really see them. Well, shit, I'll give it to this person. They got confidence like a motherfucker. They do. Because this is somebody that almost sees themselves so great that they don't realize like there's, uh, like people don't see them like that. Or they hang around people who only see them the way they see themselves. You know what I mean? They stay away from real motherfuckers because a real motherfucker is just like, Drive a roll up the partition, please. <laughs> like, just roll up the window on that motherfucker. Like, who? I don't give a fuck. Basically, convent. Damn. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, boom, 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 boom. That's my shit. Somebody listening to oldies, uh, too. I feel like that's why some of y'all kind of in this, like, funk and energy. Some of y'all need to listen to some better. I mean, I love them. I love the oldies. I do. But it, if it ain't, like, you know what I'm saying, waking you up or some shit, I don't feel like you need to be listening to that. Like, it's, like, somebody's, last night, yeah, me and my woman, 
we cry together. Said we. Yeah, somebody don't need to listen to that. Uh, somebody listen to some sad ass music, G. And then we, and then, yeah, y'all motherfuckers toxic. And then you made love. Y'all motherfuckers weird. Anyway, one on the higher fan. Yeah. Some smooth ass shit, though. Uh, Nipsey came out, Divine Masculine, with the Breakfast Club. Divine Masculine, you out ya. This you. Aaliyah is really the Divine Feminine. I mean, I remember I said Beyonce and Jay-Z, but nah. Uh, if Nipsey came out, Divine Feminine should have flown out. So Divine Masculine, some of y'all in a commitment here. R right? Uh, some of y'all are athletes, criminals, uh, scholars, professors, teachers, uh, mentors, Crazy, they said, kitty like, introverts here. Uh, kind of, what do they call them? Uh, they said metrosexual. I don't really know what that is. What you be on the bus a lot? I'm just playing. I know what it is. Ain't that the people that just like really take care of themselves or something? It sounds like somebody that like to fuck people on the bus or the train though. Uh, when it first came out, I'm like, that's just nasty. Uh, till they explained it to me. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, Divine Masculine, you out here. Look at this shit. It's with the God Will Rise, though. Boom. Look how beautiful that shit is, G. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, some of y'all are, uh, celebrating a, uh, anniversary of your business or a job or celebrating an anniversary, Divine Masculine. But... There's some monumental marking or something that's coming up for Divine Masculines for sure. I don't know what that's in regards to because it still go back to the Fool and the Five of Wands. I feel like y'all in a commitment, Divine Masculine, with somebody. And I feel like you are this person, but I feel like you're with this person. Uh, the girl who know how to put lipstick on with her titties and shit. That's her talent. Molly Ringwald ass bitch. Basically, that was her talent. Eclair. Yeah in a Claire Huxtable kind of way. Some of y'all got a crush on an older woman or a distinguished, sophisticated woman, divine masculine. Outcast, yes. Miss Lady, yeah. Some of y'all definitely divine masculine feel stuck somewhere. That shit say detention uh, with you up here in this commitment card. Some of y'all feel stuck at a job uh, or something like that. I don't know why you, you've been uh, bombarding the readers lately, Divine. I know y'all been up in here, G. I'll be talking to y'all a lot. I have a lot of masculine clients, Divine masculine clients and shit. And y'all are so quiet, nobody would ever fucking know. I didn't know till y'all started booking this shit. And I'm like, this shit crazy. All of y'all fine too. I'm gonna keep it so 100. Everyone that I'm gonna talk to, I mean like, you know what I'm saying? Very good looking. Not like I won't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like that. But shit, y'all very good looking fucking men and shit. Like, damn. So it is true. Y'all do exist and shit. That shit be crazy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Divine Masculine. You got a uh, someone around you. Let's say Divine Feminine too. Let's split the, because we all have Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy. So if that's the case, Divine Feminine, you in this shit, in Divine Masculine energy. But it's because you own uh, some job shit, uh, work shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Divine Masculine, you kind of are too, but yours feels more like a commitment. If we gonna split the energies up. Divine Feminine, you could be in a commitment with somebody. If that's the case, you the motherfucking man in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, I don't know, mama, how you feel about that? Yeah, that's what it's saying. Maybe this person make money or they're the whatever the fuck and you are the enlightened person, Divine Feminine, because Nipsey is really on, let's say it's like this, on your side and Jay-Z is on this side. So it's like two men together or two masculine energies. Uh, here. Uh, and I feel like there's an actual female here. So I don't know. Something like that. I do see two masculines uh, arguing and shit. Two men fighting. Fist fighting. Both of y'all look stupid as fuck. Because I feel like it's over a bitch. That's why. And look, she love, she love it. But she, I mean, that's what she wanted. Masculine energy, be careful to be arguing with another masculine over some broad. It's something like that going on here, okay? Or two feminine energies arguing over some man or something. I don't fucking know. It looks real. Whoever you are doing that, this ain't. This reading is uh, 
we're probably talking about you as the person that was like kind of tarred like but in regards to the convent i feel like this is the shit you watching like this is the shit you're like literally watching uh your own people fight you know what i'm saying arguing going back and forth and shit uh hurting each other kill it's like bullshit this also feels like shit on the news uh violence and shit you know what i mean and all this other shit going on you just watching the world just fucking go crazy uh convent that part y'all are waiting on god to do something answer something it's coming convent uh you might feel like shit is just not happening right now but it's about to. It says God will rise here with the hierophant here. Yeah, a uh, victory lap. You win. It's like the the tortoise and the hare. They said. So it's almost like this is the hare and shit. Like the tortoise is so slow. You would be the tortoise, right? Remember the hare falls asleep under the tree and the tortoise just walked past that motherfucker. Same pace, didn't have to do extra, extra and shit. Like you bound to win, G. Slow and steady wins the race is what they said. Self-made, hustle and motivate. Yes. Uh, I feel like uh, this is us, the breakfast club convent. This is the masculine energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, convent energy. We all different. The athlete, the criminal, the princess, the brain, the basket case uh, is what this says. It's like we're all different, but we all, God's people are peculiar people, G. So uh, that's why these people who are trying to provoke you or get some rise out of you and shit, it's all for likes, views, money. It's like a Takashi. Um, <laughs> basically, whatever situation this applies, it's the Takashi in your life. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What's that motherfucking name? I usually call him Officer Daniel Hernandez. I approach him by his title. Uh, but that's what I had heard. So it could be somebody at your job always fronting or you in a relationship with somebody that always do the most. Uh, some shit like that, G. And you are not fucking moved by this shit. You know exactly what it is. This is how I feel like every time I see this shit and people, I mean, I have fallen victim to fuck shit before. A Takashi's in my life. Yes. So I understand how it bo bo uh, boils your blood and shit. But at this point, you coming up like this, victory lap, marathon, self-made, doubling up. And all this shit, uh, advocate and all that, it's almost like you surpass these people, man. Real shit, convent. And I feel like uh, for this group I'm talking to, you've definitely surpassed these people. And you're like actually watching them like hurt themselves and other. What else the fuck can you do, G? It's like us living in the United States and we watching all the shit go down in Haiti and Cuba. And you want to help, but what the fuck can you really do? You know what I'm saying? Like all this shit was written is what it is. So there's nothing you really can do, but watch this shit in regards to people taking each other out. Your enemy, my enemies want to be friends with my other enemies. I don't let it get to me done. Hey, look what I done in my life. I had to count it and count it again to make sure the money was right. They let to talk. Me, I'm just done in the hype. Me, I'm just done in the hype. Me, I'm just done, 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 done. I drunk text J Lo, old number, so it bounced back. Boy, Wanda got his bounce back. Yeah, it's almost like uh, people can't even fucking find you. Drive a roll up the partition, please. It's like you're not even accessible, G. That might be why these people are mad or trying to do this because you are not accessible or. So it's like people teaming up with other people to fuck with you and, ooh, Lord have his mercy. Driver, roll up the partition, please. Basically, is what they keep saying. I feel like you just uh, literally like, I'm seeing people just roll up like a tinted window on motherfuckers and shit, really. That's what they keep showing me, convent. Like who? Shit, who? You turn into an owl on these motherfuckers. Who, who, who? Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Put one on these, uh, what time is it? What time is it? Time to get funky, yes. Put one on the Four Cups and the Isley Brothers and Outcast. Some woman, uh, I don't know who this is, but she raised some, some sons and they don't do shit, okay? Some woman is disappointed in her son specifically. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Look, this uh, Michael Jackson and Tito. Or, no, that's probably not Michael, but let's say that's Tito and Randy. Like, damn, only one of you motherfuckers ended up being something. It's like something like that. No disrespect to none of them Jackson folk. But it's something like that. Like maybe there's, oh, convent. They said you ought to, if you got like some siblings or a bunch of siblings or something like that, you are the one that's to do whatever the fuck. Uh, 
and Randy and Tito and Jermaine and and Reby <laughs> and fucking uh, Latoya and all of them, they just kind of carry the name. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you are the Michael is what I had heard. Uh, that time is coming for you where you have your chance to spin around and moonwalk on these house. Uh, it may not have come now, but it is coming. Some of y'all are waiting on that. Other people, y'all just moonwalking right over these motherfuckers and people just watching. Shit, these are people that, uh, outcast your ass too. You could have been, uh, like with a, like hung out with a group of people, convent, men, women, whatever, and just don't kick it with them no more. Or they kind of made you feel like you wasn't shit. Right? And it was the best thing that ever fucking happened to you in your whole fucking life, G. And now they watching you. Oldies, yeah. Who's that lady? Like I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody who wasn't sure if it was you, Convent. They know now, G. Uh, Beyonce, Nipsey, Jay-Z came out, Lauren, like some great people came out. You know what I'm saying? Ike and Tina ain't flew out yet and shit. It's some, it's some questionable folk in this deck. You'd have come out as some really, I mean, granted, you got some like, you know, strange, what's some strange shit about you? You a little, you know what I'm saying? But they was all like this. Yeah, what was the song at the end of uh, Breakfast Club? When Judd Nelson pumped his fist in the air and shit. I can't remember, but everybody knows that fucking song. Uh, it'll come to me even watch when I fucking stop the video like that's exactly what the fuck it is But that's the song they're playing. I just can't like get it out But yes Y'all switching earrings and shit Okay, something about jewelry switching somebody got a chain gonna give somebody a chain or an earring or something or a ring I don't know anyway uh Yes, this person knows now uh, that is you. They a little worried. I feel like this person tried to do something, sabotage something, make you angry, jealous, or something, Convent. Uh, and because you didn't react the way that they wanted you to, it's like they know you're the one, but they weren't even expecting that result. It's like this person thought you was going to behave like a human. Shit. Like a motherfucking humanoid, right? Uh, and the way that you handled that shit, it's almost like they fell in love with like that shit. But now you're turned off because of the toes. It's almost like that type of shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like try to floss on you and shit. Like motherfucker, it's the toes for me. I didn't notice the bitly, the none of that shit, none of that shit. All I seen was your toes. It's like that. <laughs> it's like you are just. And this person's like, man, I fucking love that person. And it's like I'm cool, G. You done already ruined it with the claw. You have. It's like whatever, and I'm using that as a reference, like whatever they did or presented or tried to do, it's like the dude's toes. Like you didn't even do it right. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, if somebody tried to make you jealous, it was like uh, with someone or something that was like not even like something you would even bite or like be jealous of. You know what I mean? So it's like uh, I don't admire that at all. You know what I mean? I feel sorry for that or, you know what I mean, that they were able to be bamboozled and hoodwinked. You know what I'm saying? Plymouth Rock landed on they ass. They didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Like, it's almost like a, I don't know, some type of bait they try to use, and you don't like it. <laughs> you spit that shit right out. Like, uh, yeah, they can't catch you with that, is what I hate. One on the four of cups, the Isley Brothers and Outcast. Rich, good gentleman. I told you somebody out here was wealthy and bored. Did I not say that shit, G? Look! Whoever this person is, G, I feel like, uh, number one, couple things. Number one, there, there's someone who's like competing or mad at you. That's, they just have nothing else to fucking do. They have everything they need, want at their fingertips, and they still are fucking with you. I don't know. Talk to their fucking mom. Okay, moving on. Uh, the second thing is that I feel like there's a masculine or feminine energy, but somebody is out there. They don't, since you came around or since you didn't take the bait or whatever this is, Convent, I feel like somebody don't even want to hang out with their peoples no more. Uh, it's like they've outcasted themselves. Somebody's very bold. It's a masculine energy is what I feel like. It could be a female in masculine energy, but it's damn sure masculine energy. Uh, this person feels unfulfilled. I can't necessarily say it's because of you. Because we got God out here with the Nipsey card. You know what I'm saying? So it has something to do with their purpose. 
but I feel like because this person hasn't embarked on it, it's like they fuck with you. But what they don't know is like God put you in their path in order for you to enlighten this person to get on their purpose. It's almost like this person saw you as a uh, prey and you really the fucking predator and shit. You know what I mean? He just, God just got you looking fine and shit. You know what I'm saying? Got you looking, just dressed you up in a nice package. You know what I'm saying? That's all that is, but it doesn't change uh, the mission is what I'm being told. So whatever is going on, convent, let's say somebody uh, tried to get over on you. Uh, this definitely backfires, but it's because God put you in this person's life to wake their ass the fuck up. It's almost like, bitch, that's what the fuck you get, bitch. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but you're not even, but I feel like it's because you do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like God's so good to you that you don't, he protects you from these things. You don't react. You don't even see it. If he even lets you see the shit, it's like, he's that good. And you're getting blessed in their face. Okay. In their fucking face, straight up to my face. Boom, ba -da -doom. boom, 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 right? Straight up to somebody's face. Uh, and this is the person trying to make you feel some type of way. You too blessed to be stressed, convent is what this says. Lauren Hill with the nine of swords. That's what's up. Somebody uh, definitely miseducated in this bitch. Real shit, spiritually for sure. They said intellectually too. Yeah, man. I wasn't gonna say it, but with the swords, they like, come on. <laughs> Come on, toots. My name is the prince. Besides, would a lunatic have a Porsche like this? You're like, yes, a fucking lunatic would. I dated one, right? He didn't have a Porsche and shit. He had an Audi and he had a... It's almost like, yes, motherfucker, he would. Uh, whatever this is, somebody's trying to put in your face. It's like something you've already dealt with a thousand times, G. Is what it feels like. <laughs> Real shit. It's like someone trying to dangle something. I don't know. This person bored though. It's like they need friends or something or want to be long. This somebody doesn't know how to approach you and like really be authentic and say they want to kick it, G. Or be down or be with you or want you for this position or something. Somebody doesn't know how to do that. Uh, so they use earthly things, human things, and you're you have an abundance of human things. Uh, at least uh how you feel right now, you're comfortable. God's taking care of you. Uh with that whatever like you want to play ball god gonna be like you an athlete like you want to sell this god like okay well shit you're gonna be the criminal the high vibing one but you go okay right princess brain it's almost like uh he provides whatever you want Ow. girl you know i can provide whatever you need yeah call six three two twenty one three five. he got a phone number and everything they said jesus was on the main line or whatever reading that was i just did Somebody, uh, maybe somebody, uh, says they believe in God, but they really, uh, a lot of people do believe in him, but they don't know him. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh, normal, really not normal as far as it's a good thing, but it's like, uh, you know, of a lot of motherfuckers, this LA, if people think it's a big city, but it's not, it's like, yeah, I know that motherfucker, but I don't know him. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you nothing about him and shit, but I know him. I seen him on the street. It's like that. People know God like that. Some of y'all like, nah, that's my man's in there. Like, nah, that's my man's and them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. I feel like these people don't know how tight you are with the divine, uh, how uh, in tune you are with your higher self. And that's why whoever this is feels like this. They know now, uh, but they feel like they ruined their chance. Like, yeah, you should have put the fucking socks on with the fucking uh, sandals. I don't know if they was Gucci. They was something. I didn't even look. It was the toe even killed the brand. Okay. <laughs> The toe straight killed the whole brand and shit. I swear, y'all. I don't think they was like, I feel like they were like, like, you know what I mean? Like he tried to like floss or some shit, but I don't know. Like, anyway, moving on. Nine of swords with the Lauren Hill. It's like, you know, some people just got like a swag about them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you just know how to do it. Don't even matter what age you are. Like some people got it. Some people fucking don't. And he just, you know, you could tell he never really did. I, I feel bad for saying that, but it's like, like the part that's in you, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that outside shit. It's like how you rock it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I feel like y'all know what I'm talking about. Hold on, Nine of Swords, Lauren Hill, so we can get the fuck out of here. my garden of eden card told you it's like zion eden something fulfilling 
Convin, you number one, you don't have to worry, nine of swords, about uh, being taken care of. Uh, some of y'all are so taken care of that you are bored, and that's why I said you need to be of service. Some of you guys have so much or an abundance of something, or if you notice you have just been feeling unfulfilled, bored lately, there's something you need to give of yourself, period, point blank. You got way too much. That's what it is. Look how they're looking out like, damn, uh, all these motherfucking fruits and veggies, they bound to go bad, is what they're saying. Or this is someone else who has an abundance of something here, convent. Uh, this could be a stingy ass person. For some reason, this person ain't fucking with you. I don't, I mean, they're a stingy motherfucker, so they probably don't fuck with nobody. But the deep issue with this person is that uh, they don't feel like they fit in or they're a part of something. Uh, but it's because they're a leader, G. Leader don't never fucking fit in. You're the fucking leader. Hello. Right? Uh, this person don't know this yet. And this person doesn't give back. Uh, they sit on everything and shit. So. This person kind of, you may irritate this person because the Nipsey card says advocate on it. Hustle and motivate. You probably did everything your motherfucking self and they had. Some of these people done had so much fucking help. That's why they mad at you. Some of these people done been uh, taken care of, coddled and shit their whole life. And somebody done paid for something their whole life and all this shit. They ain't never had to do shit. And this person mad that you are uh, where they are and you did it by yourself. So you get more respect. It's like street credit, G, basically. You get more or at your job or whatever the fuck. It's like you're the better person because all that shit authentic. Somebody mad at you for that too, G. But, again, you were putting this person's path, though, so they could become like that as well. Whoever this is, is has a purpose, too. Or some type of uh, will that God wants them to perform. And they ain't doing it. Like you wasn't doing it and somebody provoked it in you, possibly. Or some incident. Possibly tragedy, sickness, illness, or someone. If you were lucky enough to have someone trigger your awakening, uh, you're a very lucky, blessed person, G. Real shit. Because I find that most people that I talk to that I know that really have, like, awakened, they've had some crazy-ass tragedy, illness, like some tower moment and shit. Very rarely have I seen someone just really awaken uh, with just an encounter. You know what I mean? So if that's happened to you, uh, whoever that person is that's awakened you with just an encounter, that's a cold motherfucker, G. That's a cold motherfucker. Uh, some of y'all, that is you. You've done this in someone's life without them having to sacrifice uh, something, someone, or something like that. So, guys, that's why I said, say God bless the fools. That's why this fool get blessed. That's crazy as hell. So it's almost like, Convey, you suffer more. You know what I'm saying? You're going to sacrifice more, lose people, places, and things because you're equipped to handle this shit. God blesses the fools. So God put you in this person's life so they would just learn vicariously through you and not even have to deal with that shit. That's how good God is to the fool, okay? To the fucking fool, though. Not even you. You straight over here with abundance and a whole bunch of shit. But you, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? You uh, worked for this shit. You know what I mean? To get so you are, you do have a higher ranking this, than this person for sure. You got, uh, now she texting purple hearts because she know that we at war, right? You getting purple hearts and shit. And this person ain't really getting them for that, but they still have some purpose. Um, so yeah, God really does bless the fool in this bitch. I mean, excuse me for saying it like that, but basically, it's some fool here getting blessed, G. Because of you, though. Amen. One on the fool, five of wands, Jay Z. little child mm-hmm that's what the fuck I had said <laughs> basically they just clarified that whole fucking statement so I don't need to do that some dumbass woman is trying to get pregnant by somebody I feel like she got pregnant by someone else not the person she wanted to get pregnant by the person she wanted to get pregnant by got some money uh or yeah 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 it is that okay so look uh, some woman may be telling a divine masculine that she pregnant, G, right? Boom, boom, right? This is her telling Nipsey, for lack of a better term, that that's what's going on. But it's really Jay-Z shit. It's like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what that's about, but that's what they had said. This is my baby don't match uh, card as well. This is also my, there goes my baby. Ooh, 
girl, look at you. Somebody looking at you. You don't know how good it feels to call you my girl. But I don't feel like they have. <laughs> uh, this person's like fantasizing or something, convent. Real shit. In regards to you, uh, whatever your baby is, whatever you trying to build or whatever, you fighting for that shit. Ain't nobody about to stop you, G. You pouring fucking tequila in a Grammy, okay? Uh, so I feel like uh, you're you're fine. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just you know what you're after, the legacy and shit, generational wealth and shit for your kids and all that shit. That's what a lot of y'all are fighting for, to leave something for them and shit. Uh, that's what this is about. That's why, man, none of this shit can move. You here for a higher purpose, period. So is this other person, but they don't even know it till they meet you. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like an instant one. You know what I'm saying? You add water to that one, and you know what I'm saying? They turn into pudding. Yours, you know, you need flour and all that. You know, yours is more intricate and detailed. You know? Anyway, put one on uh, Hierophant Nipsey in the Breakfast Club. marriage card and expectation came out yeah divine masculine you want you looking at somebody whoever this divine masculine is that's looking at some woman this bra weird jake we are the weirdos mister hell yeah yo ass weird too uh, this divine masculine weird he just don't know it that's why he the outcast from the isley brothers it's almost like you never really did fit in divine masculine or whoever this is but he been brainwashed to think whoever he belongs with or whatever group or where he's supposed to be or you divine feminine someone here has been brainwashed into thinking that is not where i'm supposed to be because this person is an athlete a criminal a brain like look at them look somebody may be somebody may be uh going off of looks here convent but nipsey fine i feel like you look good g I feel like you look good, Convent. It's just, it's almost like, that's why I say looks don't matter. It's almost like you got a brain, though. You know what I mean? So it's almost like, uh, after a while, that's why I said after seven days, a fine motherfucker don't, ain't, don't really mean shit to me after seven. After a week, you used to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you start seeing a motherfucker for who they really are type shit. That's kind of what this is. I feel like someone, um, a divine masculine is looking at someone like that. Like, damn, I'm looking past the whole beauty thing. But I feel like they may still be in a relationship with whoever in the fuck this is uh, in regards to some money, some baby or something. And they watching some divine feminine here, which definitely could be Lauren Hill. I I'll use her as divine feminine right now. Uh, up and eating and shit. Enlightened. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Got her own worries, though. Real shit. Somebody watching somebody, period. Somebody is definitely wanting to marry you, be in a relationship or some type of business contract. They want to uh, commit to something with you, Convent, for sure. The good lady, the rich, good gentleman, a little child is out here with marriage and expectation. Somebody uh, wants something from you, G. Uh, they want to collaborate. Collaboration, yeah, is on Jay-Z. They want to Beyonce and Jay-Z go together. The whole shit, it's almost like a... Let me see what's at the fucking bottom now. Because, yeah, they feel like they losing their happiness and shit. They don't even want any of the women. I keep picking up on this person. This person could have a lot of women or men. They don't even want them anymore. They want a uh, family barbecue with Spot now. Because still Magnolias just feel like a bunch of suitors. They want the family barbecue now. Uh, with Spot and all the uncles and aunties and all the hot dogs and links and shit. It's almost like theft card is like, I'm losing out. I'm wasting time on some other shit. Yeah. Somebody gonna get a divorce or separate. Uh, from somebody that's, I'm telling you, G, somebody can't watch you no more like this, like unbothered. Somebody is like, can't stand that you're like this, Convent. And they're like, this is not fucking working. They were supposed to get upset, jealous. Like maybe somebody wanted you to do something to turn them off so they wouldn't like you. But whatever, that shit turned me on. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the fuck you did, it did the fucking opposite, G. It did the opposite. And they're like, I must have more. This could be a hater too. It's like you didn't react the way a hater wanted you to, and now they just want to keep doing the bullshit. It's like this person really love you and probably want to eat your pussy and suck your dick on some, on some real shit. That's, that's how I feel about it after a while. Uh, when you get at a certain age and it's a grown, oh, it's a human. They said, don't forget it's a human. You know what I'm saying? Who got a damaged heart, right? About to walk across the bridge for cheesecake and all that. Right. Sorry, spirit guys. I still feel like they want to give you some cunnilingus, though. I do. I feel like this person like you. 
uh, no matter if it's a male or a female and you a male, I feel like whoever your hater is uh, secretly want to suck your dick or eat your pussy. And excuse me to, like for being like that, but that's what it feel like. Uh, G, they want to be with you or some shit like that. Uh, and some of them can't stand the fact that they feel this way, so they react this type of way and shit. Mm -hmm, convent, this got a little weird. I'm going to go now. Uh, that's been whatever the fuck this reading's been, G. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot, my name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you, bye.